welcome to the uh, second part of lecture 12. Um, today, uh, we will talk about uh, expansion lemma. So, here is the content of uh, uh, today's lecture. So, we will talk about uh, expansion lemma uh, and uh, we know that uh, the vertex connectivity is uh, the minimum number of vertices that need to be uh, removed from the graph to make the graph disconnected and uh, edge connectivity is similarly the minimum number of edges that need to be removed from the graph uh, to make the graph uh, disconnected. And also we have proved in the first part of this lecture that uh, the edge connectivity is always greater than or equal to the vertex connectivity for a simple graph. Uh, so, today we will start uh, with a result uh, which says that uh, the vertex connectivity is equal to the edge connectivity for a specific graph uh, like graph 3 regular graph. A 3 regular graph means um, all the vertices are having the degree uh, same degree uh, 3. Okay, so, we will start that with that result. If uh, G is 3 regular, graph then vertex connectivity k g is equal to the edge connectivity k prime g. Okay. Well, so we will prove uh, this theorem or, or result. Let S be a minimum vertex cut. We know that vertex cut means it is the set of vertices such that if you remove that set from the graph, then uh, the graph will become disconnected. And the cardinality of the minimum vertex cut is the vertex connectivity of the graph. Since k g the vertex connectivity is always less than or equal to k prime g. to prove k g the vertex connectivity greater than or equal to k prime g, we need an edge cut of size cardinality of S. So, we started with a minimum vertex cut S and in order to prove that this is true, we want to find the edge cut of size cardinality of S. Okay. Uh, Note that S is a minimum vertex cut. So, um, if you remove S from the graph G, you will be left with two components. Uh, let H1 and H2 be two components. of g minus s. So, uh, s is, is a vertex cut. So, it consists of some vertices 
if you remove these vertices from the graph, uh, then the graph will become disconnected and it will have uh, two components. So, one component is H1 and the other component is H2 and this is the whole graph G. Now, since S is minimum vertex cut, each vertex in the vertex cut S has a neighbor in H 1 and a neighbor in H 2. So, uh, what we want to say is that you take a vertex B in S. Uh, uh, note that this is a 3 regular, G is a 3 regular graph. So, it has degree 3. So, this B will have a neighbor in H 1 and one neighbor in at least one neighbor in H 2 it can have two neighbors in H 1 also or otherwise the third neighbor could be in S itself also. So, these are the, these are the um, possibilities. So, the other possibility is that uh, V 1 vertex V here has two neighbors in H 2 and one neighbor in H 1. Okay. Uh, what we want to say is that uh, all, all the three neighbor of uh, V cannot be in one component, cannot be in H 1, then V should not be in S. And since S is a minimum vertex cut, uh, that is why each vertex has a neighbor in H 1 and a neighbor in H 2. So, all the three neighbor cannot be in one component. In that case, uh, the vertex V need not to be in the vertex cut. I hope that you understood this. Now, since G is 3 regular, V cannot have two neighbors in H 1 and two in H 2. So, this is quite clear because the uh, the graph G is a 3 regular graph. So, it cannot have two neighbor in H 1 and two neighbor in H 2. So, it can have two neighbors in H 1 and then one neighbor in H 2 or it can have one neighbor in H 1 and two neighbors in H 2. Okay. The other possibilities are uh, the vertex B has one neighbor here and one neighbor in H 2 and one neighbor here. This is also possible. So, in that case this vertex is also will have one neighbor in H 2 and one neighbor in H 1. So, let me repeat this thing for these two vertices also. Okay. Now, uh, we want to construct uh, an edge cut of 
cardinality s that is what our m is. Uh, now, for each v belongs to s, delete the edge from B to members to member of H1, H2, where V has only one edge. So, what we want to say is that uh, we need to delete one edge corresponds to one vertex because we want to construct a edge cut of size v only. So, uh, in this case uh, for this v we will consider we, del we choose this edge we delete this edge for v this v we will delete this edge because it says that for every v delete the edge from v to member of h1 h2 where v has only one edge and the other case is uh, this one where um, the vertex v has one edge here one edge in h2 and one edge within um, the vertex cut S. So, in such situation uh, you delete the edges to H 1 for both V 1 and V 2. Okay. So, in the other case delete the edges to H 1 for both V 1 and V 2. Now, similarly here also you remove these two edges. Now, what we did is that you see that corresponds to every vertex we have selected one edge and you delete these edges and then uh, you will see that uh, the graph this, this edges uh, disconnect this set of edges disconnect H 1 and H 2. So, these k g edges break all paths from H 1 to H 2. So, we constructed um, an edge cut of size uh, cardinality of S or size k g. So, uh, what we have proved is that you start from a vertex cut of size k g and then you construct an edge cut of size uh, k g again. So, uh, the edge connectivity is less than or equal to uh, the vertex connectivity. right? So, uh, finally, we proved and the other case is always true that edge connectivity is greater than uh, equal to the vertex connectivity. So, we proved that we proved that k g is equal to k prime g for 3 regular graph. Okay. So, next we move to the expansion lemma which uh, says that Suppose G is a k connected graph, 
and then how to expand, expand this graph into G prime, uh, so that G prime is also uh, K connected. Okay. So, this is expansion lemma. Let G be a K connected graph if G prime is obtained from G by adding a new edge sorry by adding a new vertex x adjacent to at least k vertices in G, then G prime is k connected. Okay. Uh, so, we prove this lemma which is very important. Uh, let S be a vertex cut of G prime. And uh, we want to prove that G prime is K connected, that means uh, the cardinality of S must be greater than or equal to K. So, we need to prove that the cardinality of S is greater than or equal to K. So, we know the definition of uh, K connected graph, right. So, graph is K connected if there does not exist a set of K minus 1 vertices whose removal uh, disconnect the graph. So, uh, since S is a vertex cut in G prime, we have to prove that the cardinality of S is greater than or equal to K. Okay. Now, Here the graph is suppose this is the graph G which is K connected and it has many vertices and I add a new vertex this is what the expansion lemma is you I need a I add a new vertex X which is adjacent to at least K vertices of G, then the new graph G prime, so this is G and this is G prime, uh, the new graph is also K connected that is what we want to prove uh, and uh, then we need to find the vertex uh, we need to prove that a vertex cut of G prime is of cardinality minimum. K. So, the case 1 is that if x is in the vertex cut S of G prime, okay. so let me just uh, grieve, uh, draw uh, 
is, for example, okay, suppose this is my s. This is my s, and this s is a vertex cut uh, which include x. If x is in s, then s minus x must be a vertex cut. of G. I hope this is easy to understand. Uh, now, since G is K connected, the cardinality of this, so this s minus x is a vertex cut, cut for g and g is k connected. So, uh, s minus x, the cardinality of this one is greater than or equal to k, because s minus x is, uh, is a vertex cut for the graph g. So, this implies that the cardinality of s is greater than or equal to k plus 1. So, we prove that when the new vertex x is in S, then in that case the cardinality of S is greater than or equal to k plus 1. So, this is the case 1 and case 2 is uh, x is not in S, the new vertex is not in in the vertex cut. So, S is the is a vertex cut of G prime. So, let me draw this again. Suppose this is my G, it has many vertices and uh, this is G and this is my new vertex X which is adjacent to at least k vertices of G and I am considering the second case that x is not in S. Okay. So, S is something like this. So, this is my S. This is my S. And S, this is a vertex cut for G prime. This is G prime. Uh, and it does not include X. Now, there could be two cases again. Uh, if I did not draw this one, if all the neighbor of x is in S. See, if you remove all the neighbors of S, then this is a trivial vertex cut for G prime, uh, because if you remove these vertices, uh, then you sort of disconnect x from the remaining vertex. So, this is also a vertex cut. So, that is why if uh, all the neighbors of x is in S, then the cardinality of S must be greater than or equal to k, because the cardinality of the neighbor of x is greater than or equal to k. Okay. The other case is that if all the neighbors of x is not in S, that means uh, n minus S is not equal to phi. That means, so these are the neighbor of x, right. Um, so, this is one neighbor of x, this is another neighbor of x, 
so these are the neighbor of x and all of them are not in s. So, this is the uh, figure which represent uh, this case. Then it is clear that uh, n x minus s that means these vertices this vertex, this vertex and this vertex and x lie in a single component of g prime minus s very clear from the figure that uh, if all the neighbors are not in S, then the neighbors which are not in S, those neighbors and X, they will be in one component. Uh, if you remove, if you remove the vertices in S from the graph G prime, then you can see that. So, these vertices are in one component and these vertices are in the other component of g prime s. Thus, s must separate g and hence the cardinality of s must be greater than equal to K. Okay, so, uh, in all the cases in case 1 and in case 2 uh, we have proved that uh, a vertex cut of G prime, a vertex cut, cut of G prime uh, S that has cardinality greater than or equal to K. So, uh, G prime uh, which is obtained from uh, G is also k connected. Uh, so, the expansion lemma, expansion lemma says that if g is a k connected graph and uh, you construct another graph g prime from g by adding a new vertex and make that new vertex adjacent to at least k vertices of g, then the new graph g prime is also k connected. So, this is how you can sort of construct a bigger k connected graph from an existing k connected graph. Uh, that is all. Uh, thank you very much.